Hi guys, recently after an update, my Chrome browser crashed immediately with the oh snap error. Let me quickly show you the screen which is thrown. It says oh snap and error code status invalid image hash. Similar issue happened on the new Microsoft Edge Chromium browser. So let me also show you that screen. So it comes up with a compatibility problem. The error code is status invalid image hash. This problem relates to a security improvement made to the Chromium's sandboxing. Chromium runs each of the tabs within lockdown processes. A change was made in the browser to prevent third party code from injecting itself into the sandbox processes. I will discuss two workarounds to get rid of this issue. First one is temporarily disabling the new protection. In order to do that, first of all, make sure all browser instances are closed. So I'm just going to close this one. Also in the taskbar, make sure chrome.exe or ms edge.exe process is not running. Just right click the taskbar and select the task manager and making sure there is no chrome.exe or ms edge.exe. Now what we need to do is click on the start menu and start typing run which will open the run app type the following command in the open box which is chrome.exe dash dash disable features renderer code integrity i will put this command in the description of the video so if we type this one click ok so now when the Chrome browser is launched, there is no issue. So you can go onto any website. Let me go to BBC site and the site launches successfully. In order to do the same with MS Edge browser, so go on the start menu, start typing run. And in here, Type this command msh.exe space dash dash disable features, which is renderer code integrity. Click the OK button, and this time the browser launches successfully. Now I can go to any website and it works fine. So that's the first workaround. Second workaround is Basically, you need to have access to computer's registry. So in order to do that, click on the start button and type reg edit there. So that will be the first application which is highlighted by Windows 10 computer. So just click on it, just say yes. Here Basically, what you need to do is go to the HKey local machine slash software slash policies slash Google slash Chrome. In here, you just need to right click and create a new D word. Create the entry renderer code integrity enabled. And make sure the value is zero which will be the default value again i will put this into the description of the video so this is a workaround where you don't need to type like type the command every time so this time if i launch the chrome browser it will launch successfully without any problem just go to any site it will work fine just to prove that this entry has made the difference, so I, if I delete this entry and after that if I 
relaunch the browser it will throw the same error so i'm just going to create that entry again with zero default value and if i launch chrome browser again it works fine i can go back to the site in order to do the same thing on the edge browser what we need to do is again obviously go to registry click yes if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device in here what we need to do is we need to go to microsoft entry this time you will find one entry called edge so if this entry is not there you just need to create a new key here just right click here and create new and key so you will and type the name edge in here again you just need to create a d word entry with the same key value which is render code integrity enabled make sure the default value stays the same which is zero now this time when you launch the browser it should work fine and you can go to the site again and just to prove that this entry has made the difference i'm just going to delete it and i'm going to launch the browser again this time it shows the error but if i go back create this entry and it should work fine this time okay yeah it is launching successfully and if i can go on to the website yes i can go there so these are two workarounds i hope it is helpful thanks for watching